smoking, injecting, uh, taking them rectally, anything. It doesn't matter. But you know what? They're being marketed as bath salts. They're not actually bath salts. They are... It's, it's almost like synthetic cocaine. But it doesn't matter. I mean, you have to be... I mean, these kids took a bath salt and smoked it. How do you experiment with something like that? Do you just, like, go around the house? I make you wonder what else they smoked in their house. I mean, do they go right for the Comet and then start doing the Windex and then... See, Comet, Windex would be tough. It's a liquid. I mean, you have to use the fumes from burning it. Not that I've done it, but I'm just saying. Well, you can, you can drink it. You can put it on a no, shirt. No, you should, it something. says on there you shouldn't drink it. It doesn't well, say you should. Well, the bath salts say for not for human consumption yet. You're never, well, I'm just saying the Windex will say that you shouldn't drink it. But it doesn't say anything about smoking and inhaling it. Well, I don't know how you'd smoke Windex. It's a liquid. You ever see that uh, on A&E, they got the intervention? Remember that girl with the... Um, well, the liquid air. Right. The one who's walking on sunshine. Right. I think she may have inspired this because I've used that stuff on computers all the time and I've never once thought to myself to inhale it. Never once. But why would you? I'm just saying, though, someone thought it was a good idea. Well, I think children are just way too bored these days. It's these cool parents who let their children do whatever they want. These are the kids who become addicted to bath salts. I'm telling you. <laughs> Where do they get these bath salts? Do they go to the store and buy them? Or do you think mom you know, has them? Or? You know what I mean? For instance, I went to the lottery store down the street here to pick up some lottery tickets the other day. Okay. Um, Did you win? They, no. Okay. They had bath salts. At the at the 7-Eleven or whatever? No, it was, it was just a local kind of cigarette place that sells lottery tickets and other things. And they had bath salts sitting in their, their case. Well, people might feel dirty buying tobacco and then they have to take a bath. I don't think that they were selling these bath salts as bath items. They were selling them purely as a drug to be used by... They should call them methamphetamine salts, then. But they're not methamphetamines. Well, I, I read that it's similar to... Uh, you get the same kind of rush as, like, a cocaine or methamphetamine. Wouldn't Comet do that if you stuffed up your nose? I don't know. What else do you think you could smoke around the house? Like, I look around, and I think, well... You, I mean, you can do Comet and your household cleaners and stuff like that, but well, maybe... See, nobody ever talked about Murphy's oil soap. <laughs> <laughs> Do you use that? Or like, you know, the carpet cleaner, the stuff you sprinkle on your oh, carpet yeah. and vacuum up. Which makes no sense if you really think about it. You're basically oh, pouring it on the ground kids? <laughs> to vacuum it. Yeah, well, it's, it's like, yeah, might as well just wipe your butt with a hundred dollar bill. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how they come up with this, Dave. Hold on, I gotta edit this out. Hold on. Maybe like, um, maybe the plastic on the DVD containers that they put the envelopes in. <laughs> yeah. That probably has some kind of fumes you could probably inhale. I'm, I'm sure they're not good for you. I don't think I don't I don't think the bath salts are good for you either. So I mean, anyone that's actually paying any attention to this at all, I, don't try the bath salts thing. Don't do the bath salts. And I'm not no any way condoning. I'm kind of making fun of this because it's really one of the silliest things I've ever seen, ever. I mean, it really is, and I, I feel bad for these kids because they're basically just saying, well, look at this, let's see what happens when we smoke it, you know, and that kind of lifestyle is going to lead you on a horrible path. But what, I mean, what else have they smoked? They probably smoked everything in their house. I mean, you probably walk in their house, and there's probably a pile of ash, and that's it. And then Michael says, hey, where's the TV? Oh, I smoked it. Where's the couch? Oh, I smoked it. Because you could, anything that lights on fire, you can smoke, right? Well, theoretically, sure. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. Why not just regular salts? Why not like sea salt? Nobody ever smokes sea salt, do they? <laughs> have you tried? No, but I... Well, I actually I have smoked sea salt. Not in the sense you'd think... I've actually smoked it on the grill to give it a seasoning. Oh, I still have some in my cabinet. All right. That you gave me. I used it tonight for when I made my dinner. You didn't inhale the fumes when it was cooking, though, did you? Well, yeah, it's got a nice hickory smell to it. Do you ever think that's maybe... I mean, you, with the beard and stuff, you kind of... I mean, you kind of have the appearance of maybe... <laughs> you know, someone that... Smokes hickory? <laughs> That's true. children's stuff. <laughs> well, bat salts are children's stuff. I'm sorry. So, anyways, kids, um, let us be the first to tell you, since obviously your parents aren't, uh, don't smoke bat salts. No. Go, get, go get yourself uh, cigarettes or cigars. or Because I heard bat salts kill, like, really quick. Like, California wants to ban them totally. I think, I think if you get... Um, you're found with possession of bath salts now. <laughs> you get arrested. Which is kind of silly. What if you work at a spa? <laughs> Don't take it home with you. 
What if you're just what if you're going to like the store that sells bath salts and you bring them back to the spa and you happen to get pulled over, your license plate's expired, your your tires low, whatever they want to pull you over for. Oh yeah, so you got some bath salts here. You mind if I uh, search the car and see what else you have? I guess I don't know. Are they are they illegal? Well, not yeah. really yet. All right, so here's the, here's the story. Don't buy bath salts for anything because even taking a bath in salt is pretty stupid. It doesn't use, make any sense. Use Epsom salts. They've been around for years. Why do you have to use salt in the bathtub? It cleanses your body, relaxes your muscles. It dehydrates you. It preserves your body. No. That's what they put on beef jerky. That's pretty delicious. That they put on meats in the old days. They put salt so it would uh, last longer. Do you think maybe it makes you live longer if you bathe in salt? Well, I think the salt draws the toxins out of your body. Is that why they do it? I think so. Because they also put eggs on their hair when they wash their hair. Do they? People, yeah, I've seen it. Oh. Yeah, they, they take a raw egg and they massage it into their scalp. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so, you get home, give it a try. All right, I will.